Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial by Frosty Gaming. I'm going to be talking about scripting today, explaining what it is, what programming languages we can use, what functions are, and then we're going to write our first script. Before I get into this, I'm going to assume that you have some kind of programming background outside of Unity. If there are requests for C Sharp tutorials, I might do that later in the future, but for right now, I'm going to assume that you know basic programming. Either way, you can follow along and try to understand what I'm doing. So first off, what's scripting? Scripting is coding functionality and behaviors into your game. We have our scene here, but it's not really doing anything, you know, nothing's really happening. So if I wanted to move this box around with WASD or something, I would code that. If I wanted certain things to happen, animations to play, audio to play, triggers, collisions, all this stuff, all this interactivity with the game comes from programming and scripting. In Unity, there are three different programming languages that we can use. There is C Sharp, JavaScript, otherwise known as Unity Script, and Boo. We are going to be using C Sharp. Reason being, it's pretty much just a personal preference. I think most programming languages are just personal preference. Some are good for certain things, but in Unity, it's more of a what is best for you. JavaScript is fine, that's what I started with, but I think it lets you get away with a little too much right off the bat. So I'm going to be doing C Sharp, and I think that that's better for beginners. And if you're looking for JavaScript scripting tutorials or Boo scripting tutorials, I would not suggest using Boo. Not a lot of people use Boo. There's not a lot of documentation out there on it. But if you're going to use JavaScript, there are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube for how to script in JavaScript, and a lot of the resources out there about JavaScript. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and create a scripts folder. and then inside that I'm gonna create a script. Now here you see we've got JavaScript, C Sharp, and Boo. You can choose any one of those for your scripting language, but I'm gonna choose C Sharp. And I'm gonna name this Hello World. Now this first script isn't gonna do much, it's not gonna add any functionality to your game. I'm just gonna explain how the scripting process works. So we can double click this script now and it'll open up in our IDE or text editor and if you didn't see in an earlier video I talked about how to set up Visual Studio or a different external text editor with Unity. I really don't like Mono Develop, the built-in one so that's why I'm using Visual Studio. So if we look at this we've got a bunch of lines. You don't really need to worry about a lot of this stuff right now. We're gonna look at the start and update. These are what you call functions. These are built-in functions and these are the default things that are put into a script when you create it. Start is used for initialization, as it says, and update is called once per frame. Start happens when you start the game, and update happens once every frame of the game. So for our program, all we're going to do is add a line, debug.log, and then we're going to say hello world, in quotations, and you end it with a semicolon, just like normal. Now one thing you might notice is uh, functions in C Sharp, they start with a capital letter. This is a little bit different than anything else. If you have experience with Java, that's not the case. They do camel case in Java, but C Sharp and Java are very close to each other. So if you know Java, then you should have no problem learning C Sharp or using it in your game. Alright, now we're going to go to build and we're going to build the solution. If you've got some text editor that doesn't have a build, then just save it and then go back to your Unity and it'll build it when you start the game. All right, so now if we go back to Unity, you see our script is down here. We can click and drag it to one of these things in the scene in order for it to execute when we play the game. So if we press play, all right, so that didn't really do anything, right? Well, this debug.log line right here actually prints out to the console. So if we look over here, we see hello world. It's printed out to the console. So that's your first script. Congratulations. To recap, today I talked about scripting, what languages you can use in Unity, why you want to use C Sharp, what the built-in functions are, and we wrote our first script. I think that's about it, and I hope you learned something, and I'll see you later.